Okay, so what you do is take this muffler strap in here and you make yourself a couple of pieces with some padding, like some foam insulation padding or whatever. Wrap it with electrical tape so you don't scratch up your shit. Little bracket there. All right, so now what you can see is I have modified the plug so it comes out at a 90. I've used the tab here to hold my strap to one of the initial screws that used to be here. If you don't cut the second tab off, you can use this, otherwise connect it to the other tab. And then I made a little tab that goes under here. I need to put a piece of tape over my 3G style at two so it doesn't bounce out. And then reuse that as well. So now it doesn't move. It's nice and secure. Cables are in there, ready to go. Now attach it. And now that's what you should have. So you have to iPad all fitted up. Alright. Nice and big icons. and hold maps when you cut open an RCA cable this is what you're gonna see a red and it's jacket and a white and a jacket the jackets are the grounds for the input side let's say the top's gonna be the right and the bottom's gonna be the left you're gonna connect both right grounds meaning the in ground and the out ground for the red the red wire coming from the iPad the red wire going to the amp bottom will be both grounds from the white side the white wire going to the amp the white wire coming from the iPad hope that makes sense okay and some people need to see it so this may simplify it for some of you. It may make it more complicated. I'm the type of person that needs to at least see it. Um, so we've got the key on behind the dash and the ground behind the dash. Powers a 2.1 amp USB car charger. Can be purchased for three, four dollars on eBay. I found one today with two USBs and one at AutoZone for five dollars. So it was totally worth it. Grabbed one. That goes up and powers the iDevice of your choice. The headphone jack comes out into a potentiometer. The potentiometer outputs to an RCA cable. The RCA cable can be split like I'm gonna do for two amps. So I have a high amp and a low amp or just straight to one amp. Then you have speaker wire coming out of that and that can be ran up and split into your original dash wiring harness or run wires to new speakers, whatever you wanna do. These two wires here can be split multiple times. Once that's done, then you're pretty much finished. For the potentiometer wiring, it may be a little complicated, but I've kind of put it up for you where you can see the right hand side is the inputs from the iPad. So you have the right positive and the left positive. So you got the top channel would be the right channel, bottom channel would be the left channel, or you can do vice versa, it doesn't matter, as long as you keep everything separated. Um, the right negative goes up here to the right negative, the left negative goes over here to the left negative, and all the negatives connect. So the left negative, again, goes to the same one as the left negative here. They share a terminal right negative goes to the right negative left positive comes up to this middle post bottom because we made the bottom the left channel right positive goes to the middle top so you got right coming in right going out and then the negatives left coming in left going out and then the negatives if you wire it up just like that everything's going to work if you've done all that correctly you will have a potentiometer in line from the headphone line coming out of the ipad going to a red and white RCA cable to your amp. This will be drilled through the dash, and as you turn it up, volume, volume down, volume down, volume up, volume down, volume up, volume down. All right. I kind of don't want to give away my secret, but uh, if you go on eBay and Google JDM sticker pack, 150, I think, 150 stickers. I think I paid 16 bucks shipped from China. So if you're willing to wait the two weeks, and it really only did take, I think, two weeks from the day I clicked by, and then it was here, and then 150 stickers for $16. So I don't even know what the math on that is, like 10 cents a sticker, something like that. So check it out, eBay. And don't buy them all up and try and resell them for a hundred bucks a pack. That's just crazy. Come on, guys.